Western Michigan and 2017 national runner-up Minnesota Duluth faced off in the NCHC last weekend at Lawson Ice Arena. On Friday night, the Bulldogs came away with a shutout over the Broncos. Then on Saturday night, trailing 3 to nothing in the second period, Cam Lee scored off a faceoff. It would be the only goal of the weekend for the Broncos as they fell again on Saturday 6 to 1. Now the Broncos regroup for their final regular season series as they battle for playoff positioning in the NCHC. I'm Robin Huck. Coming up, head coach Andy Murray joins me for all the highlights on this edition of Bronco Review after this timeout. Bronco Review is a production of Western Michigan University Athletics and WMU Media Services and is brought to you in part by Greenleaf Trust, financial security from generation to generation. Trust is in their name for a reason. They've earned it. You may wonder how we pack all that great taste into just 96 calories. Well, that's a mystery you don't need to solve. You just get to enjoy. Spelled different because it's brewed different. Being a member at Arbor Financial Credit Union is the relationships and personal attention you get from our helpful and knowledgeable staff. But we realize you don't always have time for that. With Arbor Financial's secure mobile app, you can quickly check your balance, pay a bill, deposit a check, or find an ATM. In between, well, everything else. Visit us online at arborfcu.org for more information. Arbor Financial Credit Union. Bank here, grow here. Are you considering home improvements? You should consider BlackBerry. BlackBerry has completed several home improvement projects in our neighborhood, so when we were ready for 20 new replacement windows, we called BlackBerry. They completed the project on time and their workmanship was outstanding. Our friends are amazed and we love the transformation of our home both inside and out with our new windows from BlackBerry Home Improvement Specialists. Call today or go to blackberrysystems.com. When I grow up, I'm gonna redefine pizza. One that will change the history of pizza forever. A pizza with the most cheese and the most pepperoni. This is my dream and I can do it. Because my mom and dad said I can accomplish anything. And I will do great things in life. Sorry kid, it's been done. But my dream- Introducing Little Caesars Extra Most Bestest Pizza. A large pizza with the most cheese and the most pepperoni for just six bucks. Pizza, pizza. Hi, I'm Jim Vandenberg with Maple Hill Auto Group. We know that car buying is a journey, not just a destination. We know that we need to be there each step of the way for you through parts, sales, service, through your entire ownership experience. At Maple Hill Auto Group, we look at every customer, not as a single purchase, but rather as a start to a journey that we hope spans generations. Maple Hill Auto Group, for a journey like no other. Point. Shot by Cam Lee. He scores. Cam Lee finally gets one pass. Hunter Shepard and the Broncos are on the board. Cam Lee with a goal on Hunter Shepard, the Minnesota Duluth goaltender who had a string of shutouts going into Saturday night at Lawson Ice Arena. We're with head coach Andy Murray, and uh, that was a relief when Cam finally put one in the net. Well, you know, it was important for our team, and uh, right after that goal, we had about two or three other Real good looks at the net. Shepard uh, was big for them. And, you know, they came down late in the period and got the 4-1 and, and sealed the win. But, uh, you know, it was a big goal. A great shot by Cam, but real good traffic in front of the net as well. Let's go to Lawson Ice Arena Friday night. Broncos taking on Minnesota Duluth. And, unfortunately, the Broncos catch one of the hottest teams in college hockey in their final home series, Andy. Well, you know, Minnesota Duluth since Christmas has been playing very, very well. Obviously, they had the five players that they got back from the World Junior team, and they'd had a lot of injuries early in the season, got through those, and you know, their coaching staff does a great job, and they played some great hockey. Shepard coming into Friday night's game uh, that had two shutouts in a row against Miami last weekend and was able to get another one on Friday night. And, you know, at this particular point of the season, obviously, our game's not where it needs to be. And we've been regrouping here this week in practice and getting focused for next weekend against Colorado College. The Lunatics were out. He had uh, big crowds both nights, the final home games of the regular season. You still have a chance to host a playoff. No question about it. And just a real salute from our team to our fans. I mean, the building was alive. They were cheering. I mean, we did not perform the way that we wanted. But still, in both games late in the period, you could hear that 
lunatic section rooting for our team and pushing us. And we talked about that and our responsibility to all of our fans to play as hard as we can here in the remaining games. Lunatics, they put on quite a show, and I know the visiting teams enjoy coming to Lawson Ice Arena because of them. Well, you know, they often talk about, uh, you know, which is the arena you like to play in the most, have the most fun, and it's Lawson, and which one's the toughest to play in, and they talk about Lawson as well. We just will wish as a team that we were a little tougher to play against in the two games on the weekend. But you have those kinds of games, you should never have them, but uh, it happened, and it's now how we deal with it that's going to be important. First period, it was scoreless, Western Michigan and Minnesota Duluth, and uh, the shots were close. It was 10-9. You had the uh, edge in the shots in the first period. You know, we, we came out, we had some great focus uh, before the game in the dress room. Obviously, it was a uh, senior weekend for us. Our four seniors were going to be recognized on Saturday night. And, you know, there's no question that the will and the desire to play well is there in the part of our teams. And they were the team, they were the most disappointed people in the building, obviously our players with our, our lack of production and, and not getting the job done. Second period, they would uh, get a couple of goals on the board, but you went to the third, it was anybody's hockey game. It, it really was, and you know, we came out in the third and you know, in the, the second minute of play, uh, we end up giving up a goal that should have never happened. And, and you know, it just seemed to really affect us mentally and, and our ability to get after loose pucks, win battles after that was not there. And obviously it inspired uh, Minnesota Duluth and they were you know, shutting the door in front of their goaltender as well whenever we did get an opportunity. The second half of the season hasn't been what you had hoped for, but you've had to deal with a lot of adversity, Andy. First half of the season, Western Michigan was ranked near the top in all of the rankings and in the pairwise, which mimics the NCAA tournament field. and. You were right up there among the leaders in the country, and then you suffered some injuries that set you back. Well, this was actually the first weekend since the first weekend in the season where we, uh, a week, pardon me, where we did not fall under the top 20 in the country. I think we're ranked 21 right now. But, you know, there's no solace in that, and obviously we've had injuries, but uh, nobody's going to feel sorry for you, and certainly we need to be better than what we have been. The coaching needs to be better, and, you know, that's what's great about this uh, this season, our schedule playing in the NCHC, we got a tough opponent in Colorado College this weekend, and we've got an opportunity to step up and get the job done. We've still got lots of hockey in front of us, and, and you know we've got the will on the part of our team. That we're certainly capable and competent enough, and now it's a matter of putting everything and having all the guys pulling in one direction. You've been without Wade Allison, your sophomore sensation for most of the second half of the season. He was having a Hobie Baker caliber kind of year. Well, we, we had a number of players that you know were off to great starts in the season that got injured, and, and you know Aiden Muir and, and Cole Conrad. We had the mono situation at Christmas that I feel, still feels affecting a few players on our team. And you know the one thing that happened on the weekend, we got Aiden back, we got Colt back, we got some guys back in our lineup. Lot and Courtney came back, and you know. When you've missed practice, as long as some of those guys did, it, it takes a bit of time to get your game. And we're hoping that with this week's practice, with all the guys together, that we're going to be better on the weekend. But, you know, we, we, we don't make any excuses. I mean, we've got people that have, have stepped on the ice. And we've won some big games since Christmas as well there, too. And winning in St. Cloud, you know, winning in Miami, uh, going to Bowling Green. And, you know, we had a tough weekend the weekend before last where we... We lost two tight games where we were leading in the third period to St. Cloud. I don't know whether that mentality carried over a little bit, the disappointment from that series, but that's my job to get them on track and get them going. Guys were still grinding there into the third period, trying to find a way to get one past Hunter Shepard, and you rotated your goalies in there. And you uh, played them all this weekend. Well, it wasn't the plan. I mean, we go into Friday night's game uh, with the idea that we'd prefer to play one goalie both games and that, that that goaltender is successful. And, uh, nobody cares more than our goaltenders in terms of getting the job done, and it hasn't uh, been as good as what they would like up to this point. But again, um, we've got an opportunity to play some more games, and they're going to be ready for us. And the Broncos were ready on Saturday, and it was senior night at the Lawson Ice Arena Saturday as the four Broncos seniors had their spotlight skate before the game. We'll come back and talk about Saturday night's showdown with Minnesota Duluth and look ahead to this weekend's trip to Colorado College. Now time out on Bronco Review. You trust Dunchy Body and Frame for all your collision repair work, but they offer so much more, like paintless dent repair, brakes and wheel alignment, and perfect paint matching. 
Dunchy also works with all insurance companies to make sure your vehicle is restored to pre-accident condition. So for personal service and high quality workmanship, call Dunchy Body and Frame at 375-2100 or visit their website, dunchybody.com. Dunchy Body and Frame, part of your community since 1973. Whether it's your knee, back, or wrist, a small pain can be a big problem that affects everything you do. Ascension Care Teams at Borges take the time to listen because listening to you helps us see your whole picture. More conversation, more back and forth, more questions and answers. That's what helps us understand all aspects of you and your life. Find an orthopedic doctor who is right for you at borges.com slash orthopedics. The people who accomplish so much are always striving to do even more. Now with our help, they will. It's time for more. At Galesburg Ford, we all agree, we love football. And I like the Honolulu blue and silver. Brown and gold all the way. I kind of like purple. We may all cheer for different teams, but our team here at Galesburg Ford has one goal. That's to put you in the right car, truck, or SUV. So whether it's a brand new Ford, or a certified used vehicle, now you can score your next vehicle at Galesburg Ford. Touchdown! Galesburg Ford. Not too far for your next car. Choosing your home isn't easy. This is where your kids will draw on the walls, where the people you love will gather to laugh and cry. It's a big decision, which is why choosing your mortgage partner should be easy. With low rates and quick turnaround, Arbor Financial Credit Union can create a customized mortgage solution that is right for you. Visit us at arborfcu.org to find out more. Arbor Financial Credit Union. Bank here, grow here. Right point by Minnesota Duluth, shot by Young, and the backhand from the rim of the right circle, and Blacker makes the save, and he holds on. Saturday night rematch with Minnesota Duluth at Lawson Ice Arena. Ben Blacker got the call in goal on senior night, and it was all about the seniors on Saturday, Andy. Well, you know, certainly, uh, again, we came into the game with the mindset to, to win that uh, last regular season game at home and to make uh, the seniors uh, proud of, uh, of our effort. And didn't get the job done there, but, you know, we were recognizing before the game four outstanding families and four senior hockey players that have done a lot for our program. They've been outstanding students, outstanding citizens of our school, and all four of them are captains on our team for a reason. Outstanding academics in terms of all of them being above a 3.5 and three of them being above 3.7, so uh, great young men. One of the largest crowds of the season had uh, close to 3,600 fans. There's Neil Goff, one of your four seniors. What a quality guy he is. You know, Neil's, uh, like all of our other seniors, going to find a way to be successful in life. We'll have a pro hockey career and then move on from there. Uh, you know, Paul Stojkovic, a converted defenseman to forward this year. And, and Paul is uh, in exercise science, wants to be a dentist once he's done playing hockey. Aiden Muir, who's in our marketing program and technical program in the business school, a hardworking guy. Uh, captain here, Scott Moldenhauer, uh, outstanding student in our school of business. And, you know, his family's very close living in Grand Rapids and they all had Moldenhauer jerseys on. They must be buying them every year. And there's the four of them, just real solid citizens and the kind of people that I've been very fortunate to work with. Guys that all those freshmen that you have playing can look up to. No question about it. It was really interesting when you were at the senior breakfast with us there, Robin. The juniors introduced the four seniors to everybody there. We had a great crowd and, you know, just the way that they spoke in glowing terms about the leadership, the conduct, and, you know, the citizenship that all of these guys show in terms of knowing what it's like to be a, a quality Bronco athlete. This senior class has accomplished a lot for the Broncos. You go back to last season, they alleged to the NCHC frozen face-off in Minneapolis and then on to the NCAA tournament as a number two seed. Yeah, we were a number two seed, number five in the country in the pairwise uh, at the end of the regular season last year going, going into the, the NCAA playoffs. And, you know, just 
the standard they've set in so many different areas. We obviously have a theme with our program, DWD, which means do what you're supposed to do when you're supposed to do it and do it that way every time. And you never have to get after these guys about anything. Uh, they know what it's like to be a quality student athlete. Neil and Paul and uh, Scott and uh, Aiden, they're always go-to guys too on the radio and in interviews and in press conferences and they're always willing to do that kind of thing and they do a great job. They, they do. I mean, they, they know how to represent our program in the best light. Uh, you know, they're honest and they're sincere and you know, a lot of a lot of integrity in the part of all those guys. And yeah, great ambassadors for our program and will continue to be. They're the type of individuals that will stay connected with our program and they have an appreciation for what the program's done for them. In the previous series at Lawson Ice Arena, Aiden Muir came back after missing over two months and he scored two goals in that first game back, Andy. That was amazing. Well, it's great having Aiden back. Not only his presence on the ice ability to play the front of the net on the power play, uh, penalty killing, uh, we didn't use him a lot in penalty killing, not wanting to tax him too much just coming back. But you know, with the series coming up this weekend, he'll be back to playing around 20 minutes a game. So, you know, a guy that's unfortunately had some injury issues here, and things that were unavoidable, and, and uh, just it's been tough for him that way. But he's kept a, a tight upper lip and, and just works hard every day and sets a good example. You were without Colt Conrad for a good two months, too, and he was back this weekend, but you just don't sit out for two months and jump into the lineup and be great again like he well, was before. Well, you know, and, and Colt is an elite player and, and, and sets an example with his work ethic. And You know, it, it was tough for him on Friday night getting back into game action. With his injury, he was not allowed to practice or actually work out or do anything for a long period of time, but his game was a lot better on Saturday night, and with a good week of practice here this week, we we're expecting him to be you know, back to his normal form this coming weekend. He played uh, Ben Blacker in this game after uh, Kane and Gorsuch played the previous night. and uh, I know it's been a rotation there in goal. You'd like to find somebody that steps up and just takes a hold of that. Thing. Well, you know, because of his performance last year and, and the way that he played, Ben has played the majority of games this year. And obviously going into the season, that was our feeling. and. Uh, uh, unfortunately, it hasn't quite worked out that way for him or the team. But, you know, Ben, again, just in, in the practices we've had this week, has been working really hard and trying to get his game back. And Austin Kane and Trevor Gorsuch. And we've got Will Massey, a fourth goaltender. And I, you know, can't say enough about him. He's out there every extra skill practice. The guys want to go and shoot pucks in the afternoon. Will Massey's out there with the pads on. So, you know, he was dressed as our third goalie on Saturday night to be a part of that senior night as a junior. And, you know, what a quality young man he is in our engineering school. The Lunatics were out in force and they have so much fun, Andy, at the hockey games. They are part of the show when you go to a Bronco hockey game. No question about it. And, and you know, it's in, in when our, we show tapes to our recruits when they come on campus if they can't get to a game we show them the video of it and they're just shaking their head and you know if we ever get a recruit to one of our games I would say our success rate in closing that recruit is about 99.9 percent .9 because they just love the atmosphere and the energy that, that our crowd brings and you know that's and it certainly led by the lunatics but you know our, our passionate crowd that uh, our, our normal citizens here in the Kalamazoo area tremendous and, they, they bleed uh, brown and gold here and are there to support us all the time. Quite often the last home game of the season falls during spring break and the students are gone, but not this time, and it was great to have them all there. Well, it was, and you know what we'd like nothing more, Robin, is to give them another opportunity to come to Lawson and, and cheer for us because we got a home seed. And, you know, it's obviously going to be very difficult where we need a little bit of help. But, you know, our job right now is not to worry about that. It's just to win a hockey game on Friday night and get back on track in terms of playing solid hockey. So the Broncos head out west, take on Colorado College. We'll look ahead to that weekend series after this time out on Bronco Review. Maple Hill is proud to be a Subaru dealer. Subaru. It is like no other. Because of the 35 miles per gallon that you get in the summer and the all-wheel drive in the winter, the five-star crash test ratings, the recommendations year after year from the best consumer magazines out there, own it and you'll say, I love my Subaru. At Maple Hill Subaru, it is a journey like no other. A part of being a member at Arbor Financial Credit Union is the relationships and personal attention you get from our helpful and knowledgeable staff. 
but we realize you don't always have time for that. With Arbor Financial's secure mobile app, you can quickly check your balance, pay a bill, deposit a check, or find an ATM. In between, well, everything else. Visit us online at arborfcu.org for more information. Arbor Financial Credit Union. Bank here, grow here. Does your home need a facelift? You should call BlackBerry. For over 35 years, BlackBerry's been improving the look of homes throughout West Michigan with new roofing and siding. Right now, save 50% off the installation of new roofing and siding from BlackBerry, featuring the Owens Coring Duration Shingle and Mastic Vinyl Siding. 50% off installation of roofing and siding and pay no interest for 18 months. Call today or go to blackberrysystems.com. Uverse gives you a whole bunch of on-demand TV shows and movies. Let's get started. Well, how many is a whole bunch? As many as Xfinity? I swear you're gonna love it. That didn't really answer my question. Over 5,000 on demand. Well, Xfinity On Demand gives us over 30,000. We'll set it up for you. Don't settle for you, Verse. Get over five times more on-demand TV shows and movies on TV with Xfinity from Comcast. Caesars has introduced the extra most bestest pizza, a large pizza with the most cheese and the most pepperoni for six bucks. This affects the pizza economy, causing demand for Little Caesars to skyrocket and employment to enter a pizza boom. Where will Little Caesars get all these new employees? Oh. That's where. Get the new Little Caesars Extra Most Bestest Pizza, a large pizza with the most cheese and the most pepperoni for just six bucks. Pizza, pizza. Top the top of the circle to the slot with a shot and a club saved by Blacker. He'll hold on. The Broncos head out to Colorado Springs this weekend. They'll take on the Colorado College Tigers, second meeting of the season between these two teams. Andy, you played the Tigers in a two-game series in Kalamazoo about a month ago. Two exciting overtime games. You won the first one. They won the second one. Well, in, in every game that we have against CC, and it's much like every game against all of our opponents in, in the NCHC, are going to be battles. Uh, they're not the biggest team in the league, but they're quick. They're on you. They've got heavy sticks, and they've got some scorers up front that – can put the puck in the net and obviously their top unit is as a combination is one of the top scoring units in all of college hockey. Yeah Nick Haller and their leading scorer has uh, over 40 points 42 points and 19 goals. He scored the game winner in overtime on Saturday after Richard Zanall scored his first collegiate goal in an overtime win on Friday night a month ago against Colorado College. Well, and, and you know, it's really interesting in following Colorado College since that particular game. We seem to have given them a spark. Uh, we were up on them 3-1 in that hockey game on Saturday night. Had a breakaway, Paul Stoikovic breakaway early in the second period to go up 4-1. to uh, They came back on us, actually had the lead 4-3 to three in the third period. Uh, Austin Ruschoff scored a big goal to tie it for us about a minute and a half before the end. and. And uh, we went into the overtime, went down to the last six seconds and I lost a face off and the puck came to the stick of the wrong guy and he put it in the net there. And from that point on, their, their team has played real solid hockey. They've beaten North Dakota, they've beaten Denver, uh, went into Omaha this past weekend and, and got a win in overtime as well. So, you know, a tough opponent, um, young, quick, fast team. Coach Havlid's done a great job with them and we're going to need to be at our best. Broncos at Colorado College Friday and Saturday night, and then we'll figure out where the Broncos are for the playoffs. Could be at home. We'll talk about that next when we come back to wrap up this edition of Bronco Review after another timeout. Staying with a standard checking account isn't much different than stashing your money in a piggy bank. A momentum checking account from Arbor Financial Credit Union is like strapping a rocket to your piggy bank and launching it to higher earnings. <laughs> With Momentum Checking, the more you use your debit card, the more interest you can earn. Up to 4% APY on balances up to $15,000. Visit arborfcu.org to find out more. Arbor Financial Credit Union. Bank here, grow here. Whether it's your knee, back, or wrist, a small pain can be a big problem that affects everything you do. Ascension Care Teams at Borges take the time to listen because listening to you helps us see your whole picture. More conversation, more back and forth, more questions and answers. That's what helps us understand all aspects of you and your life. Find an orthopedic doctor who is right for you at Borges.com slash orthopedics. Hey, 
Hazard Ford, we're getting geared out for fall. So if your goal is to be driving a new car, rush on down to Galesburg Ford. You can't afford to pass up these great deals on a new car or truck at Galesburg Ford. New 2018 models are arriving daily. Come out and visit us at Galesburg Ford. We're located one mile north of I-94, exit 85, halfway between Kalamazoo and Battle Creek. When it comes to your next vehicle, our team has you covered at Galesburg Ford. Not too far for your next car. Hey, I'm Carter Osterhaus. You're gonna love banking with Lake Michigan Credit Union. It's the one place where you'll always get great rates and the best service. Take advantage of Lake Michigan Credit Union's max equity loans. It's the perfect way to affordably finance home improvements, repairs, and new appliances using the equity in your home. Anyone can open an account. I did. Lake Michigan Credit Union, the best place for your money. Well, as the calendar moves to March, that means the playoffs are right around the corner. After this final regular season series at Colorado College, the Broncos move into the NCHC postseason. Andy, you hosted Omaha last year in a thrilling three-game series, one on a Michael Rebry goal in overtime in Game 3. An outstanding performance by Ben Blacker that whole weekend as well. And uh, Michael Rebry, his senior year, scored a tremendous goal for us, taking the puck to net. Aaron Hadley was involved in that as well, a couple of seniors that are you know, mainly guys that played that grit, that checking style. But they started the overtime for us against their top line and took the net and got the job done for us. It was pretty exciting at Lawson. Well, the Broncos still could be at home depending on what happens this weekend in the NCHC, but whether you're home or on the road, Andy, it's a whole new series, a whole new season when you go to the playoffs. Well, and I think with our team, I mean, there's a capability there, which we've shown the ability to beat any team in our league, and we've done that with the exception of North Dakota, who we've only played uh, two games against this year. But uh, whoever our opponent is, whether it's at home or on the road, and obviously we prefer to be at home, but we've got to be ready to go and recognize that our mission at the start of the year was to get to St. Paul, to be playing at the Excel Center, and that still remains our objective. And uh, first things first, Friday night at Colorado College on the Big Ice, they have the Olympic sheet, which is wider than the rink you play on normally. Well, you know, we split this year on the big sheet at St. Cloud, winning the first night, very tough loss the second night. Uh, we're capable with our pace and our tempo to play on the big ice. And, and you are correct, Robin. I mean, our whole thing right now is, is not playoffs, not thinking ahead. It's to be good Friday night at CC and to find our game. Good luck up there. Thank you. That's our final show of the season. Special thanks to our outstanding crew, our interns Evan Brandon and Austin Lee, our broadcast engineer Dan Bracken, and of course our co-producer and director Steve Kettner. Thanks to Coach Hawkins and Coach Murray and Tim Lester joining us all season long. We'll be back in September when Bronco Review resumes with the 2018 football season. Thanks for watching. See you in the fall.